Hello, hello, it's Drummer once again, and we are back with more Super Metroid Part 14. Whereas in the last part, we barely scraped the surface of the final area of this game. Here, we will, as you can plainly see, encounter our first Metroid. Just use a super missile, especially if you followed along with this LP in some way or another. You should have all the super missiles in the game. And, uh, yeah. If, uh, the fabled RNG Jesus is nice to you, you know. Over here, buddy. Oh, that's a ripoff. Alright. And he is a dumbass, okay. Hey, I want that super missile, damn it. Close one. Hey, up, up, Samus, thank you. And see, just like that, we already have 50 super missiles, so. Like, we've been using them, but we've been getting them back. That's the one thing I kind of fault Super Metroid for a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love this game, it's a classic in every right, but... The, uh, sub-weapon... Uh, look at that, look at that, what the hell was that? <laughs> Just firing diagonally. Or appeared to be firing diagonally, it was shooting straight. But anyway, now what I was going to say is the, the weapon selection screen here is, uh, just not, it's not streamlined. I mean, you know, you press the select button to select missiles, select again for super, again for power, then grapple, then x-ray scope. Now, at any point in that series, you can press the, uh, I have it set to X button to cancel your selection. And, uh, famously, you can... You can skip this Metroid. I say I swear I've done it before, but it's a hard-ass fucking trick to do. To do this weird morph jump thing to get him to sort of circle around you. And then you have to do it again as you shoot these barriers. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking absolute shit. Right before a final boss, I've been reduced to one health. Well, the game isn't that cruel. Yeah, so uh, that's the baby Metroid from the story of this game. He's gotten a lot bigger, hasn't he? Um, but uh, yeah, so... Alright, one, and another one. Okay, so... Uh, wow, we breezed through that Torian, holy shit. And, uh, forewarning, um, let's say you didn't get, follow this guy, you didn't pick up everything, uh, don't save here then. Because if you save here, the area where the, uh, baby Metroid sucks all your health out, that door is locked. So, you can't get out of here after doing that. So if you save there, obviously the only thing you'll ever be able to do from this point on is what I'm about to do, which is fight the final boss, who really should be quick enough that um, I shouldn't need to like pause and do a part two or nothing like that. So you have the little Zebatites, which you blast with missiles. 
Those were in the first Metroid game as well, so if you played that, you are familiar. Uh, obviously, they're a lot easier to deal with in 16-bit than 8-bit, I think. And, uh, you know, Mother Brain just kind of sits there, lets her superheated acid Cheerios and spitball turrets do the work. Um, and if you're a crazy enough Metroid fanatic like I am that you actually get what kind of reference I'm making there, fucking kudos to you, man. But otherwise, I'll explain it for the rest of the crowd. That reference of superheated acid cheerios and spitballs is basically um, uh, it's from a Metroid comic called Maru Mari, which Maru Mari originally is the Japanese name for the morph ball. Um, Or something like that. But this comic, just a web comic done by a couple of fans slash speedrunners at the time, I guess. They're the runners of the original Metroid 2002 website. So this comic, in fact, got enough damage on her and she's gonna whoop my ass with this charge beam. And uh, my health is gonna be so low that another charge beam is gonna whoop my ass and I can't get up. I have fallen and I can't get up. But that webcomic was funnier than shit ran from about maybe early 2000 to like 2003 or 2004 right around the time Metroid Zero Mission came out I guess or what am I saying 2002 to 2004 the website wasn't existed before that uh, <clears throat> so it was funny and they, they even had a few panels with uh, Fonzie from Happy Days of all things <laughs> But it primarily revolved around Samus and her partner, Houston, who is, again, a Metroid fanatic would know, that was a character in the N Nintendo Power Super Metroid comic. And, um, epic, by the way, as I'm just telling a story that this Metroid came to back to heal us after draining us, right? Right? It recognized its mother. How nice. And unfortunately, Mother Brain is a dick. However, because we have now been infused with the remains of the Metroid, we now have El Hyper Beam. Bitch, bitch, get back there. Get back. What was it, like 12 shots or some shit? 16. I swear it's not that many more after this. Alright, I swear to god. I'm gonna have to remember the trick to be able to move during the charge beam sequence. The mother brain beam, I mean so that you can actually fire some charge shots in her while the baby Metroid's refilling your health. Cause damn, that was way longer than I remember it being. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Alright. So, traditional Metroid fashion, you have... Oh, time bomb is set as soon as you beat the final boss. You better fucking hurry. Alright. That's the best way to do it. 
And then you have this room. Alright, okay, I forgot. You do have to go up. And then you go down somewhere at some point. Hey! If I'm if I'm in screw attack animation should be killing that enemy, not getting hurt. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Down, down, down. And then back up. Alright. And the famous shine spark shortcut at the end. And, uh, you know, I'll show it off in the LP, but traditionally, if you've ever seen a speedrun marathon known as Awesome Games or Summer Games Done Quick, which obviously has been the subject of controversy lately, um, somewhat, but, uh, I am generally 14 kill the animals here, but, uh, you know, Whatever. I am gonna save him here just to show it off. Again, for anybody who, dear God, hasn't played this game, which, again, for fucking shame if you haven't. Um. It's just so good. Alright, alright. There we are. And that, my ladies and gentlemen, is the great game of Super Metroid. <laughs> All done in 14 parts, I might add. I didn't think I'd get done in 14 YouTube videos. <laughs> I did a rough estimation early on in the LP, and I thought maybe 18. But no, just part 14. I didn't... I thought Torian was gonna take... Maybe two or three parts. Nope, one part. Boom. <laughs> and uh, you'll see the purple speck off to the right. There it is. That's our animal friends flying over. Or flying away that we saved. Clear time. Five hours, 23 minutes. Wow. Um... Hardly a speedrunner's time, but, uh, oh, Jesus. Well, I know what that means. We're not getting a good ending. <laughs> <clears throat> Your clear time has to be under three hours, if I'm not mistaken. And I've, I've done that plenty of times as a kid, but I think... The nature of doing an LP and stuff like that, and the fact that I hadn't played Super Metroid in a number of years is probably what led to that time. But, a uh, big whoop. It's just Samus in a bikini, and lordy lord, there is much better. Let's just, you know, not to put too fine a point on it, there's much better than a 16-bit graphical version in 2D of some woman in a bikini than, you know, is much better on the internet, is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, of Samus herself, too, so, you know, go indulge in all that Rule 34 crap if you want her. Uh, generally, I stay away from most of that. Uh, a lot of depictions go pretty far, further than I'd like. <laughs> but anyway... So that's the credits. done I'm 
Gumpei Yokoi. The famous typo is spelled an M and not an N. Maybe her helmet comes off in this one? I don't know. Yeah. Well, we actually got the helmet coming off. Huh. I thought we wouldn't have got nothing. <laughs> but, okay. A hundred percent. See you next mission. Fucking yay. Alright, alright. That is Super Metroid, folks. I hope you all enjoy this LP. Uh, <coughs> as my YouTube debut, I gotta say I had a lot of fun doing it. And, uh, stay tuned for other LPs and other videos of various kinds, mostly involving video games from me. But this has been Croc My Hunter 3000, and I am signing off. Y'all have a good one.